Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the free assets for the month of July. Now if you are new to Unreal Engine, basically Epic Games gives away 5 free asset packs every single month. All you have to do is open up the Epic Games launcher and claim them for free, and you'll own them forever. You are free to use these assets in your games or in your Unreal Engine projects for any purpose, whether that is for learning purposes or for even commercial purposes. They have been doing this for many years now, and if you collect them every single month, you'll amass a large library of 3D assets that you can use for your games or your projects in Unreal Engine. So in this video, we're going to be checking out the free assets for this month, the month of July. There's quite a bit of interesting slash exciting stuff this month. Also, let me know down in the comments, should I try and make a game using these five free asset packs? Let me know in the comments below. Now, before we get into the video, I want to quickly talk about my multiplayer survival game course. I just released a new course on how to make a multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5.4. This course covers over how to make a survival game in the latest version of Unreal Engine that features things like an inventory system, harvesting system, different types types of weapons and tools and everything is set up for multi-platform support so if you want to use input for xbox or playstation controller or even just keyboard input support there's lots of stuff that we create in this course including a open world map a building system tribe slash clan system and much more the course is currently being remastered and re-recorded in unreal engine 5.4 but you can get access to the original course that is recorded in 5.0 that has over 250 plus lectures and over 70 hours of course content by simply adding it to your cart at checkout. So go to my website, smartpoly.teachable.com to check out my Unreal Engine courses and make sure you pick up the multiplayer survival game course link in the description below. And as always, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first asset pack that we have here is the Mediterranean Coast Environment Pack. So as you can see, this is the level that it comes with. It's actually a decently large size map. So if I scroll all the way out here to show you the size the terrain. This is actual landscape size and we have these background meshes. So this is the actual playable area. And if I zoom in here, you can see what exactly the map looks like. Now, one thing right off the bat that I notice is the performance isn't that great. If you're looking at all of the foliage in the level, you can see I'm getting around 40 to 70 frames per second, but it is very detailed. So if I zoom in on the trees and the grass, you can see how detailed the environment is. Now, if I go over to the coast, we'll see that my frame rate will actually increase because we're not looking at all the trees in the background. There's many different types of vegetation. So you can see there's these different bushes here, different types of trees that you'd see in a Mediterranean environment. So if I go ahead and play from down here, you can see what it looks like. So as you can see, it's very decently detailed the environment and you can zoom up on the trees. Everything isn't up to you know nanite quality but it's still very decently detailed and you can use it for really any, any type of game whether that be a desktop game maybe even a mobile game but as you can see the performance isn't that great especially with the high density of the foliage and the trees as well so they're not really optimized in that regard but other than that it's a really nice environment and you can see you can follow up this pathway that actually stretches across the entire map or the entire landscape but overall it's a decent sized level you can see that there is some other different parts to the map itself that you can explore here's the actual showcase level so this will show all of the different assets that are included so you can see we have sort of this water shoreline material here are all the different tree meshes that we saw some different cliff pieces in the back there and of course some of the ground props things like bushes leaves plants shrubs sticks rocks all that stuff and then we have some road pieces there a bridge different tree assets then in the background you can see those big background mountain meshes so that is all that comes included in this mediterranean environment the next asset pack that we're going to check out is the mega magic vfx bundle so in this bundle there are a variety of different vfx as you can see here they're all set up in the niagara particle system so we'll start off and just show off all the different effects we have different types of bursts you can see different colors there, pink, purple, blue, and many different effects. Even this one right here that has a collision. And we have some different trail effects that are raining down from the sky. So there's a lot of different things that you can use these for. Different particle effects for your games or environments. You have sort of this poison effect right there. Some more blue burst particle effects. And this one is sort of you know, an effect raining down from the sky. And then some more burst 
These ones are yellow. These sort of look like an electrical burst, as you can see here, but just more different types of unique particle effects. And that is all in this particular level. There's three other levels, so let's go ahead and check out the other two. So this is the Magic Aura VFX demo map. So we have this lightning field effect. You can see sort of these lightning bolts raining down. Ring of Flames, Galactic Field, Tsunami. We have sort of this energy shield effect, which really looks cool. And this magic barrier, Trails of Death. So you could really use any of these unique particle effects in your games to create some sort of ability for your characters. But those are all the different magic aura VFX. Lastly, we have this magic shields VFX demo, which is actually really neat. So these are all different circular shield effects. So you can see we have sort of this water bubble and fire bubble right here at the back. And these other different effects, these kind of look like smokes, as you can see here. But this one over here kind of looks like the tech bubble in Arc. So you could just replace like the color there to a bluish color. These ones over here look like electric, have these electricity sparks kind of going around them. But these are really neat, different particle effects. So you can use these as sort of like the shield effects in your game. But yeah, these are all of the VFX from this Mega Magic VFX bundle. So let's go ahead and move on to our next pack. So next up, we have the Stylized Landscape 5 Biomes Pack. So essentially, this is a pack that includes five biomes that are stylized. So as you can see here, I can zoom out and give you guys the full overview of the map itself. So we have the five unique biomes. Let's start over here and explore this biome over here. So this is sort of like this red forest biome. So you can see we have these floating mountains and these bridges that connect them together. We have these nice, unique red stylized trees. I really like the you know texture of the pathways that lead throughout the different biomes. But directly to the right of it, you can see the other biome that is connected is this forest biome with these sort of hexagon rock style cliffs. And we have these stylized trees. I really like the stylized theme for these asset packs. I just wish that these sort of asset packs would be in the permanently free category. That way we could use them for tutorials and for learning purposes. But right next to this forest is the desert biome. So let's go ahead and check this out. So over in the desert biome, you can see we have these large cliff pieces covered in sand. So we have sort of some sand dunes over here. But if you head over into these cliffs, We'll see that it comes even with this forest. So we have these forest trees, but also this oasis. So we have sort of this little pond of water and some different palm trees around it. So it's really nice that they included this in the desert biome. So we're really getting five different unique biomes in this pack. Right in the center of the desert biome is this sort of dead trees or dead forest biome. So you can see we have these really sharp rocks and everything in here as sort of this burnt forest style. So you can see we have sort of like this grayish black grass. And I really like the overall aesthetic of this environment. But the last biome that we have over here is this cliff slash forest environment. So you can see we have these green trees, green grass, and these large cliffs. So it kind of gives you a variety of these five different biomes with different styles. And it shows you how you can transition from the different biomes to create sort of a multi-biome environment map. Now there are a couple of other maps in this pack. So the other ones that come in here are this low poly environment map. So this low poly forest, as you can see here, all the trees in here are low poly. And this would be great for a mobile game if you're going to be making something either super light, lightweight game. It can run either on the desktop or on mobile. This would be great because you can see all of the assets in here are very low poly, low geometry. But also in this pack is a stylized forest. So it just comes extra that we have this forest that comes with all the combined assets from the five different biomes. This sort of unique forest environment with different trees, little pathways that run through the forest itself. And it is noteworthy to mention that all the foliage in here is using the old procedural foliage spawning system. So you'll see that we have these little procedural foliage volume blockers. Uh, basically what they're doing is they're trying to delete the foliage from spawning on the pathways. So this isn't using like a new PCG spawning system. This is using the old foliage spawning system to spawn in all the trees. Next up, we have the World Director NPC Pro. So essentially this is a plugin that allows you to have over 
thousands, hundreds of thousands of NPCs in your game, all with unique abilities and attributes that you can save and load into memory. So you can save their unique positions, you can save their attributes, and it's even multiplayer supported. So to actually access this demo level and all the content, you have to first go ahead and download the plugin, enable it in your project settings, and then you have to navigate to the plugin content. So you want to make sure that you have shown plugin content. So to do that, you have to make sure that in the settings, you show plugin and show engine content. And then if you head over to the engine plugins folder, you can search for world director, and that will find all of the content from this plugin itself. So that's how you actually find this content. Now in this demo level, you can see all of the NPCs spawn in the level. And if I run, you can see that the NPCs are being spawned in the distance. So you can see them pop and load in. And up at the top right, you can see how many total NPCs are spawned in at the given time. And also, if I run up to use these NPCs, you can see that they have different character sizes. They have unique attributes. So they have a different level, different size, and a different color. So this essentially represents the fact that you can customize these NPCs and it will save and load them. So if I go back out here, it should despawn the NPCs all the way off in the distance. But if I go back and render them back in, we'll go ahead and reload them. Now, again, this will work for multiplayer. So if I play this as two players and as a client, we can actually see the same NPCs loaded. So if I go over here, this is level 1738. If I go over to that player, we can see that same NPC level 1738. So you can see that this is completely network replicated. And you can really customize this to have unique NPCs, whether that be custom clothing, level attributes, and the system will save and load it and also will be multiplayer replicated. Now, there's a lot more different things that you can dive into more in depth into this plugin itself, but that is just the surface level. But moving on to our last asset pack. So the last asset pack that we have is the ultimate character pack. So essentially this is a blueprint asset pack that includes a complete blueprint player setup with a combat system, some blocking, different attacks, as well as AI players using behavior trees and much more. So here is the demo project, as you can see. These are the different controls. We have a couple of different controls for blocking abilities and things like that. But these are so many different characters that you can even possess, but are also set up as AI. So if I press this button, you can see I can spawn in as this character. And we have different abilities, but here is one with a little weapon. and you can see over here are so many different mobs that are trying to attack me with their different abilities. But if I go ahead and move on to the other level, I can show you some of the different characters that they have set up. So here is one of the different characters. And not to mention these are free Paragon characters that you can actually find on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So these aren't unique to this pack itself, but they've set them up as different characters that you can control. And they have different abilities. So you can see I can swing the sword and sort of use this attack. I could even go back to those minions. I'll show you the attack abilities on the character. So all of the AI in this level are using behavior trees. So you can see they can be damaged by me. I can attack and they'll die. And they even drop certain items that you can pick up. And there are many different characters that are set up in this level. And it's good to mention that these characters are all playable as well as they've been set up for AI behavior trees. So even all the characters themselves, I believe, have AI set up for them. You can see this is the other character that has his different hit attack abilities. And we have even different melee attacks as well as weapon attacks. So this guy has a gun, as you can see, where he can shoot his gun. Right click will throw sort of this grenade. So you can see all the different abilities that these characters have and everything in this template is set up using Blueprint. So I'll show you guys the setup here in a second, but we have the last character, which is Twin Blast. And again, these are all Paragon characters. So these aren't unique to this exact project or template. Now, the neat thing about this is this Blueprint character system is set up completely using Blueprint. There's no plugins, there's no C++. And so everything is set up with a master character Blueprint. And then you have, of course, the, all the different characters that we saw there that inherit from that master character and even AI blueprints. So you can see we have this AI Wraith, we have this AI Norbash. So each character is set up with its own 
AI as well as a AI controller. And the neat thing about it is if we actually open up a character blueprint, you can see all of the different attributes, things like the attacks, the animations, all the sounds, everything is set up using sort of this blueprint customization system. So there's a lot of components to this ultimate character pack, and there's just a lot of stuff to dive into and learn how everything is set up. But that is pretty much it for the five free asset packs for this month and month of July. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below, which asset pack is your favorite. So it's nice to see lots of different environments, whether that be realistic or stylized, be included every single month. My personal opinion on some of the asset packs, things like the blueprint packs, I much rather prefer asset packs over over blueprint packs just because I prefer to design those myself, but that is just me. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.